Today we are going to learn how to add sound to our animations. I've already made a quick little animation here of a boy dancing, but there's no music. I'm going to come down to our sound studio. You see a little music note down here at the bottom left? Go ahead and click on that. The first thing we're going to do is add in music by pushing this giant plus button down here at the bottom right hand corner. There are three options in here. You can record your own music or sound. You can use the sound effects that are in the app, but you do need to purchase those. And you can import music that you already have on your iPad. Let's start with recording your own sound. So we just pushed on that microphone icon. What we need to do is press and hold to record and lift up when we're done recording. So this guy is dancing, so maybe I want it to sound like he's humming along. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. <laughs> Alright, so I just recorded that. You can test it out and make sure that it sounds good to you. <laughs> that sounds good enough for right now, so I'm going to go ahead and push this check button to put it into our animation. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this to the very top right here. So what I have now is a recording that goes along with our animation. I can see how this all looks together, the sound and the animation, by pushing the plus button right up here. That sounds pretty good to me. When you drag on this playback, you might hear the music, so sorry if it sounds weird. Yikes. <laughs> so I noticed that at the very beginning I paused a little bit. So if you want to alter your audio once it's already in the timeline here, you can go ahead and click on it once, and then click on it once more, and you have some options that appear. This one is to copy your audio if you want it to happen more than one time. This one is to slice the audio. This is to delete it, and this is to rename your audio if you want to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is actually just click off that, and I would like to drag this in to cut off that pause time. Now I'm going to click and drag this back to the start. Now let's see, as soon as I push play, there will be humming. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe I want this to continue because he's still dancing. So if I want that, I can go ahead and push on that twice, push copy, and now I have a copy of that exact track with it cut off at the beginning where I just trimmed it in. So it's the exact copy and I can place that right here. So now if I go back to the beginning, it will play all of it in a row. Nice. So that's the first way you can add audio to your flip a clip animations. Now let's go ahead and look at another way to add sound into your flip a clip animation. So go back to that plus button. We're going to click on this middle icon right here. This middle icon is to add in sound effects that are from the app. So all of these sound effects are here and they're pretty nice, but you do have to pay for them. The last way to add sound to your animation is to import a song from your iPad, but you need to have the flip a clip premium version to add in music. It's $6, so I think it's worth it. I'm going to import, you can do this from your iTunes library, or from the file app on your iPad. I'm going to go ahead and go into the file app. I downloaded a song off of the YouTube audio library, and I airdropped it onto my iPad, so it's already in the files app. So you can do that same thing, download a song and put it in your files app, or you could just have a song on your iTunes already that you can use, and it's pretty easy once you go into it. So in my folder right here, I have this song, so all I'm going to do is just click on that, and it'll go ahead and say transcoding audio file. And now I have the entire audio file, and it says right here how long it is. And if I push the check mark to confirm that, it will import into our timeline. So you can drag this anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and try to drag it to the beginning here. Oof. So now, He'll be dancing to the music as well as my humming. Inside the sound studio, there are a few tools that are helpful. First, there is a sound button at the very top. This controls all of the audio here, so if you click this once, you'll see that the sound is now off, and if you click it again, the sound is on. This is useful if you ever want to go back and alter your animation, and you don't want to listen to this the whole time. 
because that doesn't sound very good. So that's a good way to turn off your audio if you don't want that to be playing while you're altering your animation. And you can turn off the sound with all of the layers. So this is our first layer up top, and there's two options next to it. You can turn on and off the sound, or you can lock it in place, which means that now I can't do anything. I can't move it. All I'll get is this big red mark here. So that's a good way to make sure that you don't accidentally move your audio. So these sound layers are similar to the layers in the actual animation part of the app. So you can stack sounds on top of each other and they'll all play at once. A cool feature of these layers is that you can also adjust the volume of each of the songs. The humming is a lot quieter than this song, and I'm gonna go ahead and play that so you can hear. You can barely hear the humming over that. So what I would do with this is adjust the volume. And you can do that by clicking and dragging on your sound icon. So this is the sound icon for the song that's really loud. If you press on it and then drag it down, you'll see a percentage right here. And that just shows you how loud it will be. With this particular song, I'm gonna bring it pretty low. And then I'm gonna see if I can hear the humming over that. That sounds pretty good to me. A few extra features to notice on the screen here is if you ever want to resize your animation while you're working in it, you can fit it back to screen by pushing the icon up here. Next to that, you can also export your movie from right here in the sound studio. You can undo and redo things that you have been doing with the sound. And finally, if you want to close out of this sound studio, all you have to do is press on this arrow button at the top left. Now you'll notice down here that we have the sound bar from your audio, so as you drag, you'll still hear it. So say I wanna create an in-between right here, and it's kind of annoying as I'm dragging to, it's annoying to hear that sound. So what I would do is I would press and hold on this music icon, and that turns off the music. So now as I drag, you can't hear a thing. Now as I play it back, you can't hear a thing. So if you want that sound back in it, all you have to do is press and hold on that, and it comes right back up. This sound studio is pretty easy to use once you understand what all the buttons are for. I hope this helps. Have a swell day.